Okay, first go find your Typerama app. And at the very top, just scroll over to your choices. You'll see my photos and stock images. For this sample, we're going to choose stock images because we're going to do a 4th of July sample graphic. So let's search for a stock image of an American flag and click the word Pixabay. Pixabay is the um, stock image um, vendor and you can scroll down and find lots of choices. If you do not like Pixabay, click that word again, Pixabay. It'll change to Unsplash and it gives you more options. Search through. I particularly like one from Pixabay, so we're going to go back to that and scroll down and find the one that I would like to use. Let's choose this one. And as soon as it comes up, you're going to have the option to choose your social media platform. I would just like to say that the Instagram post is a perfect one. It's square. It's also good for Facebook. Can't go wrong. As soon as you choose it, it's going to automatically give you a text box. And oops, I already have my website on here. It's default on my apps. I'm going to choose no watermark. You can add your own watermark. As you see, I have several that I use. Um, but definitely, oh, we're going to take that one off for this sample. Double click your text box that it automatically gave you. And once you do that, you are going to be able to type whatever you like. For our sample, we're going to say KRS Digital Designs wishes America a very happy birthday. How does that sound? I think that's a good sample text for our sample graphic. I'm not worried about capitalization right now. Most of the time, their font samples already are all uppercase anyway. It's going to default give you the very first font style. If you continue to click that style, it'll give you different options within that font style. Go over to the background icon for just a second. I want for you to see the different filter options you have for your background photo. Just play around with them, click the different ones, see what you like. I particularly like low light. You can change the intensity. I like that because it makes the image dark, so my white text pops. I really like white text. And we're going to go back to style and text and you can just play around with different um oh that's the history button actually let me show you the color if you choose the color option you can change the color of your text so many options um but i always like white it's a go-to for me you can um, play around with lots of different options within the color the shadows the gradient now we're going to go back to the styles and just continue clicking through the different styles. You can scroll over to the right and you will see all the different styles and fonts. And just click on them and it'll show you the different ones. I really like Skyscraper. That's one of my favorites. This one's a patriotic one that I thought would be good for this sample, but as you can see, they're not very legible. I mean, it's very hard to read. Too small. So I'm not going to choose that one after all. I think I'll go back to my favorite skyscraper. Yes, I mean, I think that's fine for this purpose. If you click on it, the bottom right hand corner, you will see a selection tool where you can enlarge, rotate all the things. I will give you a hint though. If you enlarge, you still need to have room for your finger to click outside of the selection box. So typically I have to make it just a little bit smaller so that I can have room to click outside of there to finish it off. And at the bottom right hand corner, you can say, okay, share. Oops, I, you can add another text box. Sorry, I did want to show you guys, you can add another text box if you'd like. We're gonna say, okay, share oh let me show you these overlays real quick if you hit the overlay button you can see the different filters just like on your phone or 
Instagram, Snapchat, all the things. They're pretty cool. I just wanted to show you that right quick. Eh, but we're going to go back and just take it off all the way to the back far left hand. It says, um, it's just no overlay. So we're going to just choose no overlay. And now we're actually going to say save. <laughs> you can go ahead and post it to your social media platform, but I always like to hit save and it'll save right to my files.